Hey, Big Gibson here. Another in this series of uh, videos, instructional videos on the Olympus TG4. Now we've talked about the TG4 in a housing, the PT056 housing, Olympus housing. Now we're going to talk about the wide, super wide angle lens. And that's what this is right here. Now it has comes with a protective cover on it. Got this from Mos all this equipment came from Mosaic Underwater. They're really good people. Give them a look. Okay. This is a super wide angle lens. It's a wet lens, which means there's water between the lens and the camera. It is this is the brand name and the model number right here. It is a very high quality lens. It's not cheap, but I think it's worth it. Comes with a lens cap to put on the back, so when I take it off on the boat and put it in my bag, I can put this on there, and I always put the cover on it. Even between dives, I'll put the cover on the front of it. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to service this and to get it ready to go on the water. Pretty simple. Because there's water between here and the front of the camera housing, then all you need to do is make sure that the lens is clean. Really all you need to do. We need to do the same thing here. Make sure this is clean. Of course this is going to be wet, but now you might have noticed, I hope you've noticed, got a little scratch already. You got to be real careful. That scratch came from a small moray eel that came up and kissed my lens. Must have been rough enough because he scratched it. Doesn't show up in the video. Really don't need to worry about it too much. So we're going to set that down right there. Also, when this comes in a box, it does not come with this lens shade on there. And there's a top and a bottom. This is the top. And these are the sides. Okay, and the camera has to be set on wide one, underwater setting, wide one. Otherwise it gets these in there and the picture is all distorted. It's, that's the primary setting for this lens. Underwater, wide one. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and show you how it goes on. Now, most of the time I'll do my deep dive first and I'll use this one first and then, um, then I'll switch, take it off and then go to the close-up. Um, what's really cool here is there are three holes in the housing. One here, one over here, and one in here to let water out. And the water pressure pretty much pushes the water out between, or the air bubbles, pushes the air bubbles out when you go in the water. So what I do is I give it a shake like this, and that, the water pressure plus that will get the water bubbles out. Now occasionally I've noticed that there's a little water bubble in it when I come up into shallow water, so you got to watch it, you may have to reshake it. Okay, so if that's clean, the lens is clean, and this is clean, then you just screw this on and it is a very precise thread and you have to get it started just right okay oops goes on there's no way to start it no particular place to start it it always goes on the same way okay and it ends up with this at the top now this is not a real tight fit on here there's some uh, allen screws that hold it in sometimes it's a shift if it isn't exactly top and bottom you'll get part of this in the picture so be aware of that 
Uh, more advanced people are going to be using this. If you use a lens like this, you probably already know how to use it. But this is essential for taking pictures of people. And you'll see some examples on this video, at the end of this video, of things were taken with this lens. Just with this lens. Next segment we're going to talk about uh, flash guns and video lights. Well, we'll talk about flash guns next and how they connect and what makes them work and how you set the camera. So this is the TG4 camera and the Olympus housing with the DAS lens, super wide angle lens. Enjoy.